Paper only. Paper only. Just, just keep straight. Just keep going. You're going to yep. go behind that Cadillac that they've got the trunk open. Okay. For Bob Inderbitson, he'd do anything to keep his family safe. This is a godsend for me. It would probably take me another four or five days to shred the rest of that stuff. On this day, it means sitting in his car, waiting in line to hand over important documents that he collected from his wife's uncle. The first time we visited him, we, we got to close out his uh, condo. We sold his car. Who is a World War II veteran, now 95 years old and placed in assisted living. When Bob and his family helped him move out of his condo, imagine years of important documents piled up took all of his old paperwork and I had already shredded a couple boxes but we still had one box left. He's in line to hand over that box of papers to a company called Shredquick. They have trucks that operate as a one-stop shop to dump, shred and recycle documents. All of this stuff has his name and address and his bank accounts and all of those kinds of things so uh, to have a trusted service that, you know, you can use for this is, is, is really a help. According to the Federal Trade Commission, identity theft is growing. And in 2021, there was 1.4 million identity theft reports. And fraud losses have increased by more than 70% over the year 2020. As you know, identity theft is on the rise. And clerks and comptrollers statewide are charged with a variety of laws and rules to redact certain information. So we're very heightened and aware of that need to redact personal identification. And this year, the mission was to help residents get rid of documents before the holidays. It's provided for them. They can watch it being shredded if they want, and it, it discards it, and people feel a relief once it's done. For Bob and so many others, it gives them a peace of mind, knowing where you're handing your important documents to and watching it get shredded. Thank you very much. People helping people during a time of uncertainty, giving a helping hand to those protecting themselves and their families. In Manatee County, Julia Hazel, Spectrum News.